still wearing her school identification badge. 47-year-old Laura Noling, a second grade teacher, kept her head down when she was brought into the Scott County Jail Thursday afternoon. Authorities had searched her home and her classroom, finding drugs at both locations. She eventually admitted that she did have drugs in her purse under her desk. Sheriff Dan McLean says there were methamphetamines inside her purse in her classroom at Austin Elementary. At her Austin home and in plain view, there was Opana, Oxycontin, Hydrocodone, and marijuana. That's where her boyfriend, Matthew Kemp, and her daughter's boyfriend, Zachy White, were arrested. And according to the sheriff, it was a certain court-mandated accessory Kemp was wearing that helped solidify the case. Mr. Kemp was on community corrections, and we had some evidence from his ankle bracelet that he was going to a few places that he shouldn't be going to. That was, he says, after receiving tips from the public. In fact, in the weeks following a major drug bust that netted 10 arrests earlier this month, the phones haven't stopped ringing. Scott County Jail. Working with state and federal partners, there's been more than two dozen drug-related arrests in Scott County. But this latest one still came as a surprise to Austin Elementary parents like Kelly Darledge. It's scary. I mean, you don't know. It could be anybody. I mean, it just goes to show you it could be anybody in the town. And the sheriff who worked this case with state police says when it comes to the fight on drugs, he's only getting started. We're going to knock on your door. We're going to pull your car over. We're going to get face to face with you. We hope to to see you in the near future. All three suspects, Rick Vicky in this case, are facing drug possession charges and will be arraigned in the morning. Nolan, who was taught at Austin Elementary for over a decade, has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of this investigation. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.